Welcome to Temple Grandin School's Power of Ten video series. I'm your host, Dave Finch, and I'm a writer, a speaker, mountain biker, and author of the New York Times bestselling book, The Journal of Best Practices, a memoir of marriage, Asperger's syndrome, and one man's quest to be a better husband. I'm also the co-host of the Uniquely Human podcast, which provides insightful, cutting edge, and practical information about the autistic experience. 2021 is Temple Grandin School's 10th anniversary of providing an educational community for neurodiverse teens and tweens, and we're celebrating the power of 10 by creating 10 videos about 10s, such as 10 Great Colleges for People with Asperger's and 10 Dating Tips for People on the Autism Spectrum. Wish I'd had that when I was younger. <laughs> Today, we're exploring 10 surprising careers for Aspies. So when we think of careers for people on the spectrum who maybe require less in the way of supports, many people expect us to gravitate toward careers that are perhaps visually oriented or involve facts, necessitate a high level of technical aptitude, those that might require little social interaction, my favorite, <laughs> and even limited short-term memory demands. And it's true that many of our Aspie friends, myself included, find careers in science, technology, and engineering. I myself have a background as an engineer balanced by a dual career in creative arts. Yet, just as we all can, people with Asperger's and other neurodiversities feel called to all kinds of careers. So right now I'm going to share our list of 10 surprising careers for Aspies with you in no particular order. Uh, we found these careers in our research and also from our very own TGS graduates. So uh, let's get started with the countdown. Researchers Baldwin, Costley, and Warren wrote an article in 2014 addressing the employment activities and experiences of adults with what they referred to as high-functioning autism and Asperger's. Within their study, they quoted a number of neurodiverse individuals from a variety of career fields, including a personal trainer and a massage therapist. Then there's Michael McCreary, Aspie comic and author of Funny You Don't Look Autistic, among our own TGS graduates, we have an entrepreneur, a welder, a filmmaker, and a food scientist. Now, for our last three surprising careers on our list, let's go a little more in depth. Roy joined with his family to start a livestock business. Side note, Roy once built me a birdhouse. I still have it. It's awesome. Here's what Roy has to say about his career. Both my grandfathers were farmers. My dad was uh, worked on a ranch, my mom grew up on a farm, and here I am on a farm. So for me, probably what the most interesting uh, aspects of the farming to me is probably working with an animal that's at least somewhat predictable and doesn't always want to talk to me 24-7. Like, they're happy to do their own thing and let you do your own thing, and as long as you're not bothering each other, they won't cause problems. Okay, stop. The best that I can think of for traits commonly associated with ASD is basically like being able to hyper focus and just having an almost boundless passion for something. Um, and that's important in agriculture is because um, like dealing with these animals, they got to eat every day, they got to have water all the time to uh, succeed in this job. You have to be able to just put up and do it and it really helps if you kind of are able to just have that passion and um, just be able to deal with the routine and not get bored from it day after day after day. What I hope to do in the future is I want to start my own business breeding um, Scotty sheep. So like this individual right here, because um, these are, they are a uh, foundation breed for the Valley Black Nose, which doesn't exist in the United States. So we have to do all the work for to get those here um so basically i just want to breed the cornerstone for how we get up to get through that roy is devoted to his farming work and he's supported by his family he gets to be around people who understand him and animals that don't talk back which is awesome <laughs> his career has a predictable daily routine and he has a boundless passion for it also passionate about her work is Sophia, who is a skincare consultant. Let's listen to what Sophia has to say about her vocation. My name is Sophia DiGirolamo and I am a skincare content creator on social media and I am a skincare consultant. 
I think the main way that my job is influenced by my neurodiversity as an autistic woman is by fixation. My whole life I've fixated on certain topics and certain subjects. And because of this, one of the main subjects and topics that I tend to fixate on is cosmetics and beauty. Because of the fact that I've been doing skincare work and makeup work on social media for close to 10 years now, I have absorbed a lot of information which has really brought me into the world of skincare as a job. I'm really hoping that at some point I can go to esthetician school and get myself an esthetician's degree so I can really continue to climb up the ladder and continue doing what I love at a higher pace. I feel incredibly lucky that I am one of the rare people who has a fixation as somebody on the autism spectrum that I can turn into a job because a lot of times they can just be a hobby. But I am so grateful that this hobby of mine has turned into something that I can turn into a career and never get sick of because I truly love what I do. And I love going to work every day and making people feel more confident, making people feel more beautiful, and helping people find the right products for their skin so that they can help to continue to take care of themselves in a way that makes them feel good. Sophia's early and intense interest in cosmetics and beauty has helped her turn a fixation or an enthusiasm into a developing career and engaging this interest has enhanced her life. And I personally love how she's now turning it around to help other people feel confident and beautiful in their own skin. And our 10th surprising career for Aspies is clergy. Micah is a divinity student at Seattle Pacific University. Let's take a peek at what that's like for him. I think my neurodiversity has given me a curiosity about the ways that ideas shape the lives of people and people shape meaningful ideas. This curiosity really inspired my interest in spirituality and religious traditions. In combination with my own faith, these interests drew me towards a career that uses my knowledge of spiritual traditions to help people live their best lives and to work for the social, emotional, and material liberation of others. One trait of my ASD diagnosis that particularly shines through in my career is my ability to keep track of the details of complex systems. This allows me to understand theological systems and worldviews in a very holistic way. In my work, I often help people understand that there's a genealogy to the beliefs that we hold, that our ideas about God and what it means to be human don't just come out of thin air. When we've inherited harmful ideas, sometimes one step towards healing is understanding where they come from, and my brain is fine-tuned to tracing those histories. I also use these gifts to make connections between different theologies, for example, uh, Eastern Orthodox theology and queer theology. I help people understand how different traditions can speak to each other, and how we can harness the collective wisdom of our different communities to imagine a better future for everyone. Micah leverages his neurodiversity to help people see and connect patterns in their own and others' belief systems. In doing so, he brings a fresh perspective that promotes healing and growth. And as we've heard from Roy, Sophia, and Micah, neurodiversity can open the door to a wide range of careers. Choosing a vocation is a big decision that we make in our lives. If we need to, we can always change routes, like I did. I hope you are inspired by the many different paths that are out there for us. Temple Grandin School supports students in responding to that beckoning uncertainty. The TGS motto, in fact, is grow from strengths. And the school provides academic, social, and transitions programming that empowers students to discover and explore the interests that will lead them toward productive, fulfilling careers. If you'd like to learn more about how TGS can help your student identify and actualize career dreams, visit templegrandinschool.org or email info at templegrandinschool.org. Thank you so much for joining us for The Power of 10, 10 Surprising Careers for Aspies. I might go into food science next. <laughs> next up in The Power of 10, tips from the trenches. We'll hear from neurodiverse young adults and their parents about strategies that helps them navigate the social and academic challenges of the teen years. Also, please subscribe to the TGS YouTube channel and like this video. If you leave a comment or a question, we will address it in our next video. We look forward to seeing you next time for The Power of 10.